Check me out, man. Vlog gang, gang talking, gang talking episode 27. Yeah, man, we back with another one today. Your boy Jordan usually hosts, but we got a new sheriff in town. He's sitting right across from me. It's your boy Jay Stew in this building, man. You already know what the f going on, man. <laughs> this nigga stole my, this nigga gonna steal my goddamn catchphrase. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, man. Hey, man. Sometimes you gotta switch it up on the pod, man. <laughs> yeah, me, me. <laughs> hey, man. Y'all see, we coming different today, though. You feel me? For sure. Oh God. Coming different in this bitch. Yeah, man. We had a good day today, man. You already know. Um, today's podcast is actually. On something that we spoke on already, it's just, you know, the the audio didn't turn out too great. Yeah. You know, it was hitching. So we're going to talk about it again, because more news has come out, and we were originally speaking on Ye, but now we can speak on Kyrie's situation a little bit. We're not getting canceled out here, okay? Like, yeah. But we will speak on what can be spoken about, and... Like, the direction that I was trying to go in from that last conversation is, <clears throat> look at today's society, right? Yeah. Bro, do you think anybody has anything that comes from their own will anymore? Like, that came from their own brain at, at, at this point? Uh, I don't feel like celebrities be having shit come from their own brain. Cause... No, 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 no. Yeah. You really believe that normal people have shit coming from their own brain? Normal people? Like regular everyday people? Yeah, like so us. like their actions, their behaviors, things that they do in everyday life. Do you think it has not, it comes from their own influence? Mm-hmm. Do you think it comes from their own influence? Uh, I feel like, I feel like, yeah, yeah. Okay, so that's yeah. where me and you disagree. Yeah. I disagree because we live in this era of social media. So even if you feel as though something is originally yours, it's right. not. Mm -hmm. Because we're constantly comparing ourselves and competing with people who don't actually know who you are. Or sometimes they have the most miserable fucking life. Yeah. And what we see I online... Mean, not everybody, you feel me? Not everybody. So, no, so, hold on, hold on. 2016, niggas wasn't coming out with, like, goals. You don't remember that phase? Yeah, yeah. In social yeah. media where niggas was like, goals? Yeah. I want to, look at that couple. Goal, couple goals. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Workout that. goals. Yeah. Everything was fucking hashtag goals, bro. Yeah. And what does that signify? That Comparison. Everybody's following the trend. Yes, everybody's comparing themselves. Mm -hmm. My life isn't like this. This is what my life should be like. Right. That's what it says. And it's like, nigga, if you base your life off of somebody who could have been having a terrible argument with their parents, having the worst argument with their spouse, mm -hmm. and then be like, hey, honey, we got to show the world that we're happy. Come here. Because believe it or not, that's what's going on. That's that's what's happening. Like people are arguing and then because they have a social media that they have to live up to. Hey, come here, come here. <laughs> it's like like bitch, that's not reality. Yeah. And the only time that we actually see a peek behind the doors of their life. Is when shit is so bad that they can't even stand being around each other no more. <laughs> no, be but dead ass train. I, I ain't speaking facts. Yeah, you is. You know what I'm saying? And that's why I'm trying to say, like, we've come to this point now that people just pick their niche. Like, they'll pick this one person and be like, yo, I, I follow him. And, like, even I was just telling this nigga earlier, game. We was talking about game last episode, right? It's reached a point where now niggas are trying to copy the style of another nigga. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't do that, bro. Yeah. You literally cannot do that. You 
The moment you think I need to be more like this nigga, you done lost yourself. Yeah. G shit. Most deaf. Bro, you have to stay true to who you are. And who you are, people is not going to like you. Right. Not everybody's going to fuck with you. Right. You know what I'm saying? I'm, bro, didn't I already tell you I reached this point where I don't even chase nobody no more? Oh, yeah, definitely. You know what I'm saying? Like, we trying to shoot this podcast. Guests don't come or guests do decide to come or they don't come. I don't care. Like, at the end of the day, we, we got something real here, and I believe, I know this is going to be the biggest podcast in the fucking world, and you have to believe it and act accordingly. Definitely. You know what I'm saying? And that is, that's how you stay true to you, by basically always knowing, all right, this is how I feel on the situation, and don't let nothing else turn you away from how you feel about it. Like, there's a difference between honest criticism and literally looking at somebody else's shit and being like, bro, I need to do, like, what this nigga doing. Like, if you start thinking like that, you're going to lose. Let somebody come to you and be like, hey, yo, listen, you're doing a great thing. This is what you could do to do it better. And then you literally sit there and meditate on what they said. And if it resonates with you, that's how you know it's constructive criticism. If you don't even feel like, oh, like, if you feel, you know in your spirit when somebody's being a fucking hater. Like, everybody knows. Yeah, that's true. You know what I'm saying? If you hear some shit and you like, bro, how does that even apply to what the fuck I'm doing? You know that nigga hating, dog. He's just trying to put you down. Like, at the end of the day, bro, and that's going to keep coming back to this. Stay true to yourself, right? Mm -hmm. There are going to be a lot of different ways coming in and out. Yep. There's going to be a lot of people who are cool and who's not. Yeah. What you have to do is decide, do I really care about being cool? Because if you don't care about being cool, that's when you become cool. That's true. Let that really resonate with you right there, bro. Yeah. Let that marinate in your brain, bro. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Being different isn't trying to do some weird ass shit that nobody else would do. Yeah. Being different is being yourself. That's really all it is. Like, when niggas come up to me, bro, you know how much every day I go out and I wear one one leg sleeve compression pants? Yeah. You know how much people get on me about that shit? Yeah. I be seeing people on the streets looking at me like... <laughs> and I don't give a fuck. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because that's my swag, bro. I'm not going to let nobody talk to me or deteriorate. And I'll still pull a bitch... In that shit. When she come to me and be like, oh, I'm a basketball player, sweetie. That's true. You feel me? Like, what the fuck? Come on, man. Stand up for yourself and stand up for what you believe in, bro. Right. No matter what it is. Yep. Right? I stand on this podcast. I already know this podcast is going to be one of the biggest podcasts in the world. I don't got to brag about it. I don't have to beg nobody to be on it. We doing this shit regardless. In and out. Every Friday, every Saturday. Right. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, man. That's really it, bro. Like, I, I don't really got nothing much to add other than to, like, you know, to correlate this back to the Kanye, Kyrie thing. It's kind of like now because we have these factions, right, of people, LGBTQ, you know, you got Jewish people, you got motherfucking God. we even got the uh, what's the that's the what's the reformed version of the Ku Klux Klan niggas what they call them neo-nazis nigga you have you have white supremacists yeah. <laughs> you feel me yeah. you have a band for every belief right people right. like to group themselves up with people that believe similar to them that's why they say there's a there's a phrase show me your friends and I'll tell you who you are you feel me because you, exactly, you gravitate to who you actually want to be around and who thinks like you. Yeah, you feel me? And it, it goes even ties in with that conversation we yeah. was having. Yeah, you we was me? having that earlier, that same conversation. Exactly, like in order to grow, you have to be willing to be criticized. You have to be willing to go around people that's different than you, and that's what's lacking in society. The man Kyrie put out a post. A post. 
He didn't say, well, watch the movie. He didn't say none of that. But apparently nowadays, you can't even have freedom of thought. Most deaf. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's so crazy. Like, nigga come out and say, yo, like, go watch this movie. What do y'all think about it? Yeah. That's anti-Semitism. Yeah. yeah. Like, asking people their own opinions on something that you've consumed is right. anti-Semitism. Right. That's a problem. Right, they we come out several times, several different podcast episodes, and we talk about how Andrew Tate um, got canceled. Right, we talk about Ye, although that that episode didn't come out, he got canceled. Right, he talked about he was a billionaire. Next day, what happened? They got rid of his billions. Yep, you know what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. And that's because in this world. If they do not approve of you, they automatically think, nah, you shouldn't have money. You shouldn't have a way to feed yourself. Which is disgusting to me because who are you to take away another man's hard work? Did you, were you in the studio with him? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? When he released the music, did you not dance and clap and cheer this nigga on? Yeah. You know what I'm a saying? A lot of people did. I know. Kanye got those fans that's going on. That's going to ride out with them regardless. Exactly. It's very different in the case for Kyrie, though, because Kyrie's a basketball player. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's true. The only support he has is from little kids. Yeah. And NBA fans. Yeah. Should all of that go away, nobody knows who the fuck he is. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Kyrie's not a worldwide name. He's a... He's not a worldwide name. He's a he's a national name, right? And it's a niche national name because he's known to basketball fans, right? A lot of regular individuals wouldn't they even know who he is. Exactly. Outside of basketball. Facts. So that's why it, it it comes to me to say this: the society that we live in can only have this much power because of the people. Right, if we look back in the past, men like Martin Luther King, Malcolm X, do you know what separates them from today's generation? Society, or I don't want, you know what, bro, I'm not going to go to conspiracy theories <laughs> about this shit. I'm not. So to cut it down for y'all simple-minded individuals, the people that govern money, has now made it impossible for any revolutionaries to be created in this modern society that we live in. Mm -hmm. Right? There can never be another Martin Luther King because before he even gains enough traction, cancel. Yep. That is the society that they want to create. They do not want anybody to unify people or to give one man enough power to unify a nation. They're not, they're not with that no more, right? It's about silencing and making sure their message is the one that is heard above all else, right? And this goes to show now that you have to think for yourself. You have to. You need to stop being brainwashed. You need to stop literally going about your life like as if you're the main character. You're not. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> you're not the main character, bro. And they know that you're not the main character. And because you think of yourself so much as the main character, it makes you easy to brainwash because you're living in a bubble now. They can just throw little things in your bubble. It's not coming out. It's going to stick. Yeah. You feel me? And they tell you Kyrie is anti-Semitic. You're going to believe it because most of these motherfuckers not even going to look up the article for themselves. They're going right. to run with what the media is saying. That's true. You know what I'm saying? So, free me, bro. Free yourself. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, man. I'm not even trying to get us canceled. So, I'm, I'm, right. I'm speaking in a term. I'm speaking in, in a way that if you're smart, you can read behind the lines, bro. Mm -hmm. You can really put things together. And I know y'all can do it, bro. A lot of us have given up our abilities. A lot of us have stopped reading books. We've stopped trying to do research. We've stopped 
trying to better ourselves, better our intellect. That is the key. The moment I started reading, and I think I, I, I don't know what podcast I talked about it. I think 25 or one of them. Yeah. I already started on this journey where I started back reading. I started back getting back into the shit that I just fell off on. And as human beings, we're not going to be perfect. Right. But it is the journey towards perfection. True. You have to every day push yourself to be a better version of you. Right. How do you do that? By bettering yourself, educating yourself. Because back in the day before technology was here, we had nothing but hunting and gathering, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Even back in the days where America was just getting founded, there's a reason why there was such a thing called cowboys and, and outlaws and all this shit. Niggas was out here and they went, and they went after it. Niggas are like outlaws robbed and did all this shit. But at the end of the day, it followed through in our old time belief. Right. We're hunters and gatherers. We get whatever we want and we work for it ourselves. Mm -hmm. We don't let society dictate anything for us. That's what the word, even back then, that's what the word outlaw meant. It means that you do not confide within the confides of the law. You are doing things your own way, in your own terms, to what you believe freedom is. And that's why the government, even back then, didn't like niggas like that. You feel me? Because it's always been about control. Educate yourself so you do not find yourself being a fucking sheep. It is very important, bro. Very important. I don't even want to get redundant. Because I know some of this shit is almost sounding like I'm a like broken record. But educate yourself. That's really all you can do. Educate yourself. Have some form of spiritual belief. I believe in God. I'm a Christian. But everybody's you know, is a little different, you feel me? Mm. Y'all can worship Allah or whatever the hell else you say that you, you believe in. Right. It's about having something bigger than yourself. And when you have something like that, it ties you down. It, it allows you to let go of being so egotistical. Because the more ego you have, the more you think you're the main character. And I already went over why we're not the main character anymore, bro. Right. There's no such thing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. You have anything else you want to add to Free Me? I mean, you pretty much said everything I had in my mind. <laughs> this nigga just, just went on a whole goddamn <laughs> tangent. <laughs> this nigga just preached to y'all too at the same time. Facts. But basically, like the title says, basically what this episode is about is, you know, don't believe everything that's coming from social media, man. Get back in touch with reality. You feel me? Yeah. Have your own thoughts. Your own money thoughts. You feel me? Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Define your thoughts, man. Define your thoughts. <laughs> but, yeah. Pretty much, yes, man. Yes, sir. Yeah. Just get back in touch with reality, man. Don't let this social media shit fool you. They're going to tell you all this shit that you think you should do and how you should live and all this bullshit. Like, yeah, some of it is gems, though. Like, you can find some gems out there on social media, but majority of it is just... It's bullshit. Yeah. It's all negativity. You, feel you me? know, people are hopping online now because they're trying to be the next entertainment. And I know some people who go on social media... And they, they look at stuff to educate themselves. Yeah. But if you really think about it, how much of those things that you're actually looking at, like even when they do the hack tricks, yeah. if you notice something, you'll look at the trick mm -hmm. and be like, damn, I need to go try that. Yeah. As soon as you click off the video, you don't remember shit. <laughs> <laughs> you don't remember how to do it because... Yeah. It's made in such a way that you have to come back. Yeah. This is how entertainment works. It, it cycles, it feeds itself off of you watching and entertaining yourself. And this shit is entertainment. Be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Both deaf, bro. But listen, this is entertainment. But we try to bring value with the entertainment. Right, right. You know, 
a day without laughter is a day wasted, I believe. You feel me? Yeah. You know, laughter is very good medicine. It keeps you young. Yeah. It keeps your brain, you know, positive. Yeah. And you, we need that in the society that we live in. However, too much of one thing is not good. And all my Jamaicans stand up when you hear that shit, man. You already know what the hell that is, man. Too much of one good thing is. Just like growing up, they tell you it's a time and place for everything. Facts. I mean, it's a time to laugh. It's time to play. Exactly. You can't do it all. You can't be out here. Trying to laugh every day and laugh 24-7 in a day. Niggas yeah. don't think you're an idiot. Right. Like, they don't take you for a clown. What? You never had the respect of your peers. Right. G shit. You see, we, we speaking facts to y'all, man. Y'all yeah. really should take the notebooks. For the last couple episodes, y'all should have had the notebooks out, man. What? Oh, God. G shit. <laughs> for real, We done man. gave y'all the pimp barber. We done gave y'all some life tips. We done gave y'all tips on how to feel good about yourselves. Facts. What more do you want? What more can we... Nah. <laughs> we, we, can't, we can't give out too much now, nah, but... <laughs> best believe, man. You know, we we are... We're just trying to be different. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? We're just two men trying to strive to be better men. You feel me? And, exactly. And be better at handling life situations. You know what I'm saying? It's so funny how we just started out. We'd have never thought that this is the direction we'd have took our YouTube channel. I, I mean, that episode, we're going to have to shoot that over another time. Yeah. But... Uh, we got to go over where we started and where we came from. Because, like, bro, I think even when we just started this, I ain't going to lie to you. I started going to the strip mm -hmm. as just another way for me to meet different bitches. I ain't going to yeah. lie to you. Yeah. You know, and then it's kind of funny now because the way how I look at it is, like, why did I need the strip to go see different bitches? I mean, that wasn't why I was. Uh, that wasn't why I started, but shut you know, the fuck up. Over. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but on a real though, I'm um I'm a uh, um that's not really why I started. Let's let's not go there. I wanted entertainment. Yeah. And I knew that I'm the type of nigga who's not afraid to talk. Yeah. Like Trent does see me. From my from my king back from Jamaica, bro, I've just been networking with niggas like I'm always out there putting my name out there, putting words out there. You feel me? Because the key in life, too, is being more than about yourself. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And sometimes, like, I just try to give people the time and energy that I'd want to receive. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You can't, like I heard a wise man once told me, you can't be trying to achieve success but you're not willing to invest into someone else. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Success comes to those who are willing to work for it and not just work for it. They're willing to, they're willing to be patient. And when I say patience, a lot of things come in with patience, right? You learn more when you're patient. Mm -hmm. You also have better interactions with people when you're patient. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? One thing about me is I'm not patient when it comes to certain aspects. But when it comes to talking and dealing with people, I can be patient. It just depends on what we're talking about. And it has to make sense. Yeah. Nigga, if we talking and it's not going nowhere, I'm immediately just going to start tuning you out. You're going to see me reach for my phone and then you just go. <laughs> but it's not like I'm trying to do that on purpose. Yeah. What it is is that you're honestly not entertaining and it's not your fault you know it's just like there are certain aspects to people's character that they actually have to sharpen up it's, it goes really back to what I was saying try to be the best, best version of yourself if you know you have a problem speaking with somebody mm -hmm. work on being a better speaker yeah if you know you can't talk to people and every time I'm getting tongue tied and this and that, it comes with reading, nigga. When you re read, your brain has more words to go through. 
when you're speaking. Right. It happens on a subconscious level. If you do not educate yourself and sharpen up your toolbox, then you always gonna be like, yeah, and uh, you feel me? I mean, and, it all uh, comes yeah. with practice too, though. Feel me? You can read a whole bunch of shit. That's true. And still know, not know how to speak because you don't practice it. That's true. That's true. That's true. He's speaking facts. Yeah. But, yeah, gang. Really. I mean. Go ahead. Add in. Uh, that's all I was going to say on this subject. <laughs> this nigga said, I mean. <laughs> that's all I was going to say on this subject, man. But yeah, man, freedom of speech may be dead, but you can free yourself. Yep. Freedom of speech is limited. I wouldn't say it's dead, but it's very limited. Certain things you can't speak about. I feel like it's dead, Brody. But I mean... Not completely dead, but like I said, certain things you can't speak about when you're... When you're a celebrity... Or a public figure. Yeah. Can't speak about religion. Can't speak about gender. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Can't speak about sexuality. Only your sexuality, but sexuality in general. Can't speak about that. Yeah. No, nah, he's speaking facts. A lot of things that are... Um, a lot of things that are in society, today's society, you you really can't speak on. It's all being bottled up. Yeah. And you know, you say one thing. It's a whole community. It's a whole community <laughs> turned against your ass. What? They gonna come in and be like, "Oh, he's fucking. He's a gay person hater, or what the hell they call him? Homophobe. Yeah. He's a he's he has homophobia. Yeah." <laughs> Transphobia. You can't even. You got. It. You, you know. Like that. I say, like. Nah, I ain't know. I don't even want to say that. Yeah, let me chill. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, man. I just. I. I wish it came back to a time where we could actually just talk freely. Yeah. And and it's kind of funny because it's it's the decline was happening right before our eyes. That's true. You know, back in 2012, you could joke about all this shit. Nobody was canceling. Right. You could hop online and be like, the f bomb. You know what word? <laughs> you yeah, know what I'm yeah. saying? You couldn't say that. You can't say that now. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And it's kind of like, <clears throat> what kind of what kind of society we live in? If somebody can't even be a, like, tell a joke. I know, listen, I know the term that they say about sometimes a joke, there's truth that lies in a joke. Yeah. But sometimes, bro, we be talking shit. Yeah. Like, it's like, it's like a white boy that comes and tries to play gay. Yeah. I ain't gonna think he's gay. Yeah. Until he do something gay. Right, right, right. You know what I'm saying? He can laugh and joke about being gay, but the moment he try to put his hands on somebody... Yeah. Then, then you like, oh yeah, he gay. What? You know? Yeah. Like I said, we ain't got nothing against gay people over here. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But like, in fact, one like, shout out to my previous, my former boss. I'm not gonna say his name, but he's one of the coolest gay peoples I know, bro. Like. I don't even look at him as being gay. Like, I look at him as the person that he is. Yeah. Right? Like, he's cool. Like, you know, down to earth, real, always gave me real advice. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And I don't, I don't, I don't watch shit like that. But it's the fact that you cannot joke. Because anybody who's actually gay and, and in my life or know me, they know that I don't hate them. They just know that I'm not comfortable with your life decisions. Mm -hmm. That's two different things. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, I show love wherever I go. I'm not afraid to dap anybody's hands unless you're homeless. Because you're homeless. <laughs> <laughs> but I ain't afraid to dap nobody's hands, bro. <laughs> <laughs> it's very 
that's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, you feel me? Oh, man. I ain't afraid to doubt nobody's hands, bro. I, I'll shake anybody's hands, you feel me? Because I feel like we all deserve due respect. We're human beings at the end of the day. Yeah, yeah. You know, I don't watch many human lives being lost. What? I come from Jamaica where I done seen people die. And it made me appreciate life kind of differently. Yeah. Feel me? I want to give everybody a chance. Because what happened to that nigga who got shot? He, he didn't get a chance to express himself. That's true. You feel me? So that's just that's just it, man. But yeah, man, that's been the end of free me, dog. We done shared some laughs. We done, we done gave you some some life lessons, life tips. Yep, yep. And we on to the reactions now, man. All right, y'all, we back. This vlog gang gang talking reaction time. Yeah, man. Yeah, man, but we just gonna jump straight into it, man. First off, we got Rod Wave. What do they say about Rod, man? Someone threw chips at Rod Wave while he was performing, so he took them home with him. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga Rod hungry. Let's see, man. Why that nigga hungry like that, man? We got to start from the beginning. No, no, we, we, we got to start from the beginning, though. Because that's when he was going down. You see the chips. They just threw him. That nigga funny, dog. That nigga Ryan Wave is hilarious, dog. <laughs> this nigga say. What? I'm about to eat this shit. This nigga is a true fat boy, dog. What? That boy said, yeah, I'm hungry, bro. <laughs> that boy said, hold on, hold on, hold on. Pack I can't, I can't uh, grab these chips real quick. <laughs> 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 oh, shit. All right. Let's see. So, the switch up is crazy. She did all that talking at the very beginning, then to change up and say this. Okay. Is that her ass right there? Oh no, let's see. Something like that. That is so nasty for a mother to hear her son eat. I ain't say I'm eating booty. If I ever came out to eat some ass, I'm gonna knock your motherfucking teeth out and you ain't gonna be able to eat shit but the soup. <laughs> Stop the car. I think I need, I need to get out right here. Let y'all go ahead and do y'all booty shit over there. Oh, man. She's like, I got a whole bunch back here for you to eat. What? She a hypocrite, though. I ain't gonna lie. She got that fat ass booty. Most good. Lord. Anyways, next one. Hold on, we might have to. Hey, we might have to put this one on the Patreon, cuz. Most dead. God. Hold on. What'd you say? That thing is stanging. She should have known that all that ass was not no fit in them pants. This might have to be a part of the uncensored Patreon episode. Patreon. Let's see. Oh, this shawty who died, who been all over the internet. Hold on. All right. It's a family wants justice. 
after daughter Shaquille Shanquilla Robinson okay, yeah. was found dead in Mexico. Video emerges of her being attacked, which resulted in a broken neck. She looked familiar, though. But, hey, listen, when all these women wear makeup the same way... Yeah. You're bound to feel like you done seen her before. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, shit. God damn. Damn. Every hit connect, bro. You can hear that shit. This is God damn. Oh, yeah, it's so wet. Nah. That's it. Look, like, listen, froze. No, that's it. That's it. Yeah. So she went to Cabo. But look, hey, listen. Long and short of this story, bro, be careful who you be hanging out with, man. Yeah. Your friends could be jealous of you. Yeah. Trying to set you up. That beat down that she got, that was not from a friend. What? I ain't even going to lie to you. Pay attention to the red flags, man. We talked about the last video. Facts. That shit is crazy. <clears throat> you gonna let the girl beat the... Hey, you know why she probably didn't fight back? Because she probably didn't expect that type of shit. Nah, I think they say Shadi was drunk or some shit. I don't know. I don't, I don't know the full story, but the shit... You, yeah. you, heard, the, you, you heard about this already? Yeah, because it been on social media and shit. So mm. I logged into social media one day. and You know, I'm just saying the shit all in my timeline. Just scrolling about how she died, but... Still, though, like, I ain't get too much in the, into the story, so mm -hmm. I don't I don't know all the full details mm -hmm. of the story. But you know about that part, yeah. Yeah, I seen a video when the girl was beating her ass that we just watched. Sheesh. Yeah. Sheesh. Well, on to the next. When flexing goes wrong... Let me get this off the screen. When Flexen goes wrong, Chick tried to show off in her father's two hundred and fifty thousand dollar Ferrari, four fifty eight. When this happened, so Shadi trying to flex on her daddy car. Let's see what's up. Uh, oh, she's stupid. Oh. No, oh. and it's the worst. That's the worst kind of bump too. That's the worst kind of bump. Oh yeah, yeah. Because yeah. you know why? That could have been avoided. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, she tried to. Truthfully, <laughs> all she had to do was stop right there and back up. She tried to go forward again. She's stupid, dummy. That's why the clown music was playing. What? That's what happened when you got daddy money. What? She going to say, Daddy, somebody hit uh, me. Yeah. She going to try to lie. You $250,000 car? Shit. That's at least like $50,000 worth of damage. Just that little fender right there. Stupid. Um, Next up. What this is? <laughs> Butt fucker. Hold on, hold on, hold on. But <laughs> 3000, Zoom screen name gets defended in hot water with the judge. Let's, let's see. Next, we're in Centerville, Michigan for a Zoom court hearing. Judge Jeffrey Middleton has many people to hear from today, including Nathaniel Saxon, who's appearing on a drug paraphernalia charge. <laughs> Two weeks earlier, Police found a syringe containing methamphetamine residue in Saxon's truck during a traffic stop. Oh, no. 
Saxon's facing a possible 90 days in jail and a $500 fine. Start. And he's not exactly getting off on the right foot with the judge. Then we'll bring this fool in. When Saxon logged in, the judge noticed something he didn't particularly care for. Judge caught him in a fool. We have seen Stop face tracking. Good morning, sir. What's your name? <laughs> yeah, you, yes. Nathaniel Saxon, sir. Your name's not but <laughs> 3,000. <000. laughs> <laughs> for He probably forgot he even made that name. He probably been made that zoo. Saxon looks confused. Yeah, because he probably been made What's that shit. Nathaniel Saxon, sir, but I don't believe that I typed anything like that in Oh no No That's the worst thing you could have did nigga yeah. You could have said sorry sir I was having a playful thing with my girl You know how that goes sometimes you I'm playing with my girl and I nigga lie lie nigga I would have just been like, hey, I started this Zoom a long time ago. I was, th that's what I'm saying. I made this name, playing around. Playing around with my girl. Yeah. 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 Come on, now. If I may explain, uh, my sister was the one that set up my, my Zoom account or whatever. Um, that, Your sister? <laughs> Your sister sabotaged his book ass. <laughs> Bro, your sister is an L, bro. What the fuck? I'm sorry. Yeah, the judge don't want to have nothing this nigga got to say no more. probably cap him from the way he said it, too. Like, bro, all these niggas just like, yeah. Oh. All right, hold on. Let's switch. Let's play roles real quick. I'm the judge. You coming on the Zoom call with that name. Thanks for being yeah. a fan of court camp. <laughs> let, 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 let's play the role real quick. I'm the judge. But fucker 3000, you're guilty. Sentence him. As <laughs> <laughs> soon as I see the name. As <laughs> soon as I see the name, kid. Don't, let, it, don't let him get locked up for rape. Oh, yeah. You, oh, you yeah. definitely did it, boy. <laughs> you definitely did it, butt fucker. But oh yeah, now you about to get butt fucked. <laughs> <laughs> the tables have turned. <laughs> Yo <It> says <clears throat> this can't be real. Woman caught her man cheating on her, so she got revenge on him in the most violating way. What is she about to do? Let's hear. Okay, that's a filter. She look like she. Oh, what the? Whoa! 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 Boy, that's no way, crazy. Boy. That Boy, is no nuts. Way, Whoa! Bro, I ain't gonna lie. I'm getting a restraining order. Oh, they killed that bitch. No, I'm not. Listen, that's what she wants you to do. I'm doing it. He's <laughs> <laughs> being track killer diggers over here. <laughs> oh, man. That's crazy, though. Nah, I would never let a female do that shit to me, bro. What? What? Bro, and she got pictures, kid. No. Damn. Well, that's a lawsuit. Woman exposes Taco Bell after they gave her hot sauce packets injected with bleach. Sheesh. How did she know they was injected with bleach? That's what I'm saying. It's a strong... Well, I mean, you can smell bleach, though. Yeah, facts. It's a pretty strong smell. Okay, so we just opened this. Actually, this is the second one. The first one... My son opened and poured it on his taco, thinking it was hot sauce. 
Oh. This is the second one that was just open, and as you can see, it's clear liquid, oh. and it smells like beach. Bleach. So I'm going to open she another said beach. one that's not even uh, uh, Smells like oh, beach. I'm about to say that. <laughs> uh -huh. Oh, now this one's a regular one. Give me another one. Now, you can feel this. This is uh, hot sauce. Oh, no, look. This one is not hot sauce. So you see, that one was hot sauce. I want to show you all this. I just tore it open, as you can see. This is bleach. You can smell the bleach in this. That's crazy. Taco Bell, where at? Allen? Off of... Off of what? Off of... Oh, this one over here in Allen. Okay, Allen off of Bethany. Yeah, and we don't know uh, where that is. We're Floridians. Right. Clearly, you're not in Florida. That's insane. This is We're bleach. safe. Y'all can see I just opened it. Hey, I wasn't see, eating I at Taco open. Bell anyway. So, so. I'm the same as one. Maybe I should get the newscast. Let me hit up the news people. Cut. And you know, this is what's disturbing about it to me is. Anyways, you can pause this now. I've, I'm I'm over it. Yeah. But this is why I say don't eat at fast food, bro. These niggas don't care, bro. They do not give a fuck about you. What? They don't even much. They know you don't give a fuck about your health. Yeah. So of course they go try to kill you. <laughs> like, come on now, man. Like if it's if this is in the hot sauce, imagine what somebody could have put into the the meat. Yeah. Right. Yeah. You know how much horror stories I heard of? Yo, that nigga looked at me funny, so I jacked off in his juice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, you not catching me like that? But I'm barely the only only place I go fast food wise is Popeyes. I barely want to go there. Yeah. You feel me? Mm-hmm. But you never know what some sick fuck is about to do to your drink. It's all type of weird people I am, man. Bruh. Awesome. I even heard stories of niggas, because Burger King and McDonald's have the burgers pre-made. Mm -hmm. They're in a tray, literally. All these niggas have to do is take it out, put it in the microwave, warm it up, mm -hmm. and put the bun and patties together. Yeah. And I heard a horror story about this nigga said, oh, that nigga was talking to me crazy at the drive through window. Yeah. So I spat on his sandwich. You said and then they watch I mean, you eat it. People can do anything. People can do anything to your food. But that's why I need when I pull up. I'm the most polite person in the, in the world. Man. Yes, sir. No, sir. <laughs> no, ma'am. No, boy, ma no way, boy. <laughs> Thank boy, you, no ma'am. Thank you, sir. <laughs> this thing is no, true. no. I appreciate you for your service. <laughs> <laughs> This nigga's stupid. <laughs> I, I'm not like that. I ain't gonna lie to you. I'm polite yeah. in terms of thank you, please, and thank you, and that's about it. I ain't yeah. even on that whole. No, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Nah. All right. Nah. One false word, boy. <laughs> <laughs> that boy gonna get a semen sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> Can I get a number 18 semen, semen sandwich? No, kid. You tripping. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck no. Oh, man. All right, next up, woman shares why she didn't like dating the good guy, quote unquote, because she felt superior to him. He didn't put me in my place when he should. That's for y'all beta males. We alphas over here. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga trend, bro. Nah, Zach. After all the bad boys that I dated, I thought, you know what, let me just date the good guy. And that didn't work out because I felt like a superior to him. 
there was no uh, sexual polarity. It just didn't work out because mm -hmm. I felt like I was the boss. I felt well, like... She, did you find yourself snapping on him and getting a little bit more disrespectful than you normally would? Very. That's typically what happens. Yeah. And I did things to him that I wouldn't do to KD. And it's unfortunate because... To KD? He didn't do anything to me. The problem was is that he didn't put me in my place when he should have, whenever that was supposed to happen. At some point in our relationship, he didn't put me in my place as the woman, as his woman. And he didn't show me that he can lead. So I felt like I was leading the entire household when it's really supposed to be. Yeah, mm. and truthfully, I don't blame her because I seen mm. a post about this earlier. Like, mm. sometimes women don't even know that they're doing these things. They just naturally do it. And if you're not a man who can handle a woman like that, as she says, you'll get stuck in that situation. You'll get stuck, man. Yeah. But hey, look, look, look. I'm gonna add in. It's kind of, it's kind of funny because. I never, I never really found myself. I'm gonna speak from my personal experience. I've only been in one serious relationship, one serious relationship. Yep. <clears throat> and during the course of that relationship, I didn't feel like I had to put my foot down. Yeah. At all. Yeah. But that's because I know that I'm. A man. Right. And I'm always willing to walk away, nigga. Yeah. Bro, when I tell you, I think I, I told this story last podcast, mm -hmm. but I used to date this girl who won the beauty pageant. Yeah. And I left her ass. Yeah. I walked away and left the bitch. And everybody, when I was coming back to school that next year. I was saying, you crazy. You crazy. Yeah. How you put a baby in that what? thing? Look how far she is. Like... Nigga, you would make a bitch step on you because she pretty? Yeah. Come on, now. And you know what's funny? She still checked for me to this day. Yeah. She still messaged me. She still hearts my stories. All of that shit. Wow. Why? Because I'm willing to walk away. Yep. That's what you most niggas like y'all can't do. Dude. Like, and Trent can tell you about on God. My when I had my girl at the time come up during the summer, I remember this one this one time we was in your car, bro, because mm -hmm. she used to ride with us to the basketball court. Yeah, I remember because you was in a relationship at that time. Yeah, and it, it was like we was just going back and forth on some playful shit, mm -hmm. and then you said some shit. You was like, "Oh, I know you don't run your relationship, nigga." Yeah, I didn't even have to say nothing. Mm -hmm. Who spoke up for me? My bitch. Yep. I remember that. Because real, real players don't have to say that they run shit, nigga. Yeah. You feel me? But anyways, man. Fix your life, man. To any niggas who this might apply to, and this is all I'm, I'm ending it off with, fix your life. Focus on you. Make you the priority, not the woman. Yeah. She falls in line with you. Gee. Hear what she said? He couldn't show her that he could lead, which means that he had no direction in his own life. Yeah. Just have a direction in your own life, bitch gonna follow you. Mm -hmm. She gonna wanna be a part of what you doing. Right. You feel me? Not the other way around, bro. Mm -hmm. All right, man. Next, next up. Next up, she belongs to the streets. Her bocce spots have changed over the years. Had her drinking all them babies. Oh, Lord. What babies? Let's see. Bro, is this going to be a Patreon? We going to have two Patreon clips in one episode? Oh, yeah, definitely. This definitely for the Patreon. Definitely a Patreon exclusive. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that sounds like one of those intros to the big state. Yeah. <laughs> we might need that. <laughs> might need that as a sound effect. Facts. So, Freaky Chick shows different positions she can get smashed in. Uh, no. Yeah, man, that's been another podcast, man. Vlog Gang Gang, gang Talking. Yeah, episode that... 27. Yeah, episode 27. <laughs> <laughs> 
man. Y'all boys stay tuned to episode 28, man. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Most dead. That shit gonna be lit. Tuned out, man. Your boy J. Stu, man. Your boy T. Raw. It was off. All right.